The Wildlands Project is a very well-funded effort to lock up as much as 50% of the United States in the wilderness. It is heavily promoted by most environmental, non-governmental organizations. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, helped create it in the mid-1980s to be the foundation of the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity, which the IUCN wrote in 1982. The IUCN is an international group of over 1,000 NGO and government members. Environmental groups have effectively created a public image as organizations caring for helpless species and protecting environments. This has allowed them to implement an agenda in America that, if fully exposed, would be opposed by the majority of the people. In fact, most people supporting these organizations are not aware of their long-term objective, even though it is no secret. Take a look at the Wildlands map. It defines where environmentalists want to take America in the very near future. The areas in red will be off-limits to humans. The areas in yellow represent buffer zones, where limited use is allowed primarily to travel to and from populated areas. The areas in green are where normal use by humans will be allowed. However, by the environmentalists' own admission, these normal use areas would be restricted. When this plan was first published in 1992, the author, Reed Noss, explained how their agenda would affect the human population. He stated, Eventually, a wilderness network would dominate a region and thus would itself constitute the matrix, with human habitations being the islands. No one, not even the long-time opponents of the environmental movement, believed such a transforming agenda was possible. However, it is being implemented quickly through innocent-sounding programs that most Americans support. Wilderness areas, critical habitat for endangered species, wetlands, roadless areas, national heritage areas, and other restrictive programs are sold to the public as necessary to protect nature or as assurance that Americans will always have a place to escape from the heavily populated cities. More inventive tools and programs, such as conservation easements, smart growth, open space, and green lining, are being promoted as a way to control growth. What all these programs have in common is extinguishing the private property rights of American citizens and transferring the control of the property to elite land trusts or directly to the government. The environmental movement would not be able to implement their agenda without the cooperation of our government at all levels, including state and federal officials and even county commissioners. To help facilitate the environmental goals, the Clinton administration quietly created the GAP Analysis Program, or GAP for short. GAP divides the land into ecosystem regions and identifies the properties not yet under the control of state and federal governments, in other words, private property. These private holdings are then targeted for preservation by government agencies and land trusts through conservation easements, purchase, and condemnation. Although the GAP program has not been completed in all states, the data from this project is already being strategically used to target landowners. Not surprisingly, the areas of protection defined by GAP follow closely along the same boundaries as those shown on the wildlands map. It is frightening to see how much of America's land has recently been consumed as a result of this agenda. For instance, the state of Florida utilized the data from GAP to implement an aggressive preservation plan called Florida Forever. Since the early 1990s, over 2 million acres in the state of Florida have been locked up through this program. The private property owners within the target area were forced to give up their land under the pressure of extreme environmental regulations, purchase, and outright condemnation. And the Florida Forever campaign is not complete. At the current rate that environmentalists are implementing their agenda in every state, in every county, and soon in every town, private property is quickly being eliminated. It will not take the 80 to 100 years they originally projected to complete their task they are much closer to achieving their goal than anyone realizes. Environmentalists have scared Americans into thinking that if we continue to live as we are today, the earth will self-destruct, species will die, and the globe will be covered with development. However, government data shows that only 6% of America's land mass is currently developed. Only 3% of America is classified as urban, 
yet 77% of all Americans live in these urban areas. The rest is still largely untouched by humans. The problem is not that our nation is being overdeveloped. The problem is as old as time. It is about who will own the land. Large amounts of the nation's natural resources are still owned by private citizens. America's founders vehemently opposed the concept of government or elitists owning the land in America, which would result in the citizens being leaseholders and serfs. One of the most well-known property rights advocate of our time, Wayne Hage, said it best, Either you have the right to own property, or you are property. Make no mistake, this battle is not about whether the land will be used, resources extracted, and wealth created, but by whom. Karl Marx wrote in the Communist Manifesto, The theory of the communist may be summed up in the single sentence, Abolition of private property. America's founding father, John Adams, stated, Property must be secured or liberty cannot exist. Which course will America take? Hear directly from Dr. Michael Kaufman, the man who first uncovered the Wildlands map and presented it to the U.S. Senate. Kaufman will reveal the details of the environmental agenda and how the government is helping to transfer land ownership in America. He explores each region, and explains the tactics they are using in the different areas. You will learn what might be used to target your land. Environmentalists are counting on their agenda never being fully revealed. Taking liberty is committed to seeing that it is. Their plan must be stopped before all of our liberty is taken.